For this project, I'm going to show you a super simple way to configure Exodus, Cody's best video add-on service for movies and TV shows. While the default configuration is pretty good, there's a couple things you can do to really improve the performance of this add-on. Before we get started, make sure you have Exodus installed. If you need help, I've created a super simple guide to downloading and installing the Exodus add-on. See the show notes in the description below. In the Exodus menu, Tools will bring you to the configuration area. This first screen within the configuration area is basically just the tabs within the configuration window. Let's start by selecting General. The first option, Appearance, comes with two different themes, Exodus and Genesis. Both are close. Try them both out, see what you like. I leave mine on Exodus. Provider's timeout is a search limiter. You choose between 1 and 60 seconds, and it basically just stops the search. The longer the search, the more results you get. It's a balance between quick results and waiting to find the best sources. I recommend 15 seconds, which is about as long as my patience for these search results. The indicators option lets you choose who manages the displayed watched indicators for television and movies. You can choose local to be managed by Exodus, or you can choose tracked. If you don't already have one, I highly recommend getting a tracked account and integrating it with Exodus. See the show notes below for a link to the tracked website. The rest of the configuration choices on the general tab are pretty self-explanatory. They're really a user preference. I don't recommend it make any further changes. Under the playback tab, max quality, host selection, and progress dialog, leave all as default. There's no need to change any of these. Under file hosting filters, hosters with captures, make sure you uncheck this. Some of the streams make you fill in words that are either hard to read or difficult to fill in using a remote control. I recommend disabling this function. It's hard to use and just not worth it. There's no reason to change sort by provider. Leave as default. The autoplay option launches the first stream it can find. This eliminates the need to select the stream and then launch the stream itself. It cuts down on the number of steps to be able to watch a show. When it works, it's great. However, when it fails to find a stream, it drives you nuts. You can even try the Force SD option to lower the quality. This will ensure a more reliable source. However, I typically leave this disabled. There's two options in When Playback Starts. Leave these both as defaults. These are purely preference. The Provider section lists all the locations that will search for a stream. If you find a stream that constantly locks up or delays the search results, or just never has any good data, this is a great place to go ahead and disable, uncheck the provider. That way the search results won't look for that provider for results. The Accounts tab lets you integrate with third-party sites for TV and movie tracking. While you have a number of choices on this tab, TrackIt is the best for overall integration for movies and TV shows. Plus, the website is free and super easy to navigate. To link Exodus to Tract, select Authorization, and then navigate to the Tract account site and type in the activation code listed on your screen. Once you've typed in the activation code, select Continue, and then select Yes so that Tract can use Exodus. Now my Tract account is linked with Exodus. One of the best features of Exodus is the ability to download TV and movie streams. Most add-ons don't have this capability, requiring you to use third-party workarounds like Dreamcatcher. To configure your downloads, first select Enable Downloads radio button, and then go down, select the movie location, and do the same for TV shows location. In my example, I selected the desktop for both options. The final tab is Subtitles. I don't use subtitles for any of my TV shows or movies, so this is purely a preference. Now you know how to configure Exodus like a pro.